Welcome to the Fit Dad Nation podcast, forging strong fathers and raising a stronger generation. It's time to get up or shut up with your host, Steve Roy. Hey guys, this is Steve Roy, the host of the Fit Dad Nation podcast. Welcome to the show. Thanks for listening. Before I get into my topic today, uh, it's something I feel really, really strongly about. Um, I just want to take a moment to invite all you dads who are listening right now, if you're ready to start taking action on becoming better fathers, better men, and you're not working towards it right now, whatever the issue is, maybe you're struggling, maybe you're in a plateau, maybe you're just grinding out day after day, I want you to do one thing. I want you to apply to our free private Facebook group. It's called the Fit Dad Base Camp, and it can be found at fitdadnation.com forward slash community. It's a great place for dads. We all work together. We're all working as a team, part of a brotherhood, and uh, we do a lot of stuff in there, accountability-based. We do a lot of challenges, workouts. Um, So it's just a great resource for dads. So I definitely encourage you to apply to the group. So uh, what I want to talk about today, and this is probably one of my top three pet peeves when it comes to the fitness industry. If you know anything about me or my business or you you watch me on social media, you know that I have some pretty strong opinions about um, fake coaches, you know, people advertising programs that don't really offer much value. And so today I want to talk about the fact that we can't and you can't buy your way into fitness. And so what I mean by that is you know, a lot of people, and I'm not talking about a few people. I'm talking about millions, uh, millions, tens of million dollars, uh, tens, and probably hundreds of millions of dollars are being spent every year on fitness gimmicks, products, fads, stuff you don't need. And so, it drives me crazy. I've been a coach for 22 years, um, and I just I believe in doing things the the right way, which, in my opinion, is following a set of basics, basic rules of good health and fitness, and not getting caught up in the all the hype and the hubbub and the bullshit that's out there. And so when I say don't, you can't buy your way into fitness, what I'm saying is you can't walk into Target, go to the fitness section, pick up the Simply Fit board for, I think it sells for 30 bucks, and think you're going to get fit. Okay, it doesn't work that way. Despite what Laura Grenier says from the Shark Tank, she's pitching that piece of shit on QVC and everything else. And of course, they're dumping millions of dollars into promoting it. And of course, it's selling tens of millions um, of dollars worth of it. And all it is, it means a piece of plastic you stand on, right? And you rotate your hips. And, you know, the claims that you're going to burn fat, get fit, get ripped, all that stuff, which is just asinine. Uh, Is it better than doing nothing? Of course, sure. So is walking. So, you know, this this thing this just drives me insane because it's not just a one off. It's not here and there. It's literally everywhere. You go into Dick Sporting Goods. I was actually there this morning, and the, the shelves are lined with absolute garbage stuff we don't need. Any gimmicky thing, anything that's going to use a buzzword, um, any. Uh, don't even get me started on diets. Anything keto related right now, um, particularly, or carnivore related, like the carnivore diet, super hot right now. Everybody's talking about it. And if you slap that on a label with some kind of claim, whether it's true or not, it will it will sell, guaranteed. You're going to sell it uh, because people want to pay for something thinking they're going to get a quick result or quicker. And other than anabolic steroids, um, there's really no way to get around the fact that it takes a shitload of time, energy, work, dedication, commitment, and you have to focus on doing the right things for a very long time, and then you have to stay there. And so what I'm going to talk about just a little bit is what I believe to be a better solution than going to the store, going to GNC, going to Target, going to Dick's, going to Sports Authority, if that's still around, uh, and buying something off the shelf thinking it's going to make some kind of miraculous gains for you um, when reality, it's just not. To be honest, you don't need any supplements. You don't need any equipment. You just need your body, 
for body weight training and a small space to train in, and you need a commitment to doing the right things with your body, which obviously includes a lot of lifestyle factors and eating well. And so I'm going to talk about some of the basics. And so if you're listening to this, you know, thinking that <clears throat> there's some shortcut and you're going to get six pack abs, you're going to drop a bunch of fat, you're going to drop a bunch of weight and you're, and you're going to maintain that you're wrong. So can you lose a ton of weight quickly using a fad product diet program, whatever, of course you can lose a bunch of weight doing anything. You can lose a bunch of weight, not eating. All you have to do is restrict your calories severely, you know, drop it down to a thousand calories and you will lose weight, but that's not the right way to do it. Right. We know, we know that that's a terrible way to do it. And the reason a lot of these programs, um, can advertise insane transformations is because they're putting 400 pound people on 1200 calorie diets and they're used to eating, you know, 8,000. And so, of course, what happens, right? They're, they're, they're miserable, they're starving, they feel like shit, but they're dropping a ton of weight. And on paper, it looks great. On the video uh, screen, it looks great. Biggest Loser looks awesome. People, th oh my God, this is amazing. Um, and they just don't show the repercussions. It's it's not just not good for your health. They're going to gain the weight back once they start eating a normal calorie diet and reintroducing the foods they gave up. Um, and it just totally fucks with your head. And so it's a terrible way to go about it. So what I tell my clients, and I don't, you know, I have, of course, I have coaching programs. I have um, products and I have a membership program called the Fit Dad Nation Inner Circle. So, yes, of course, I make money in this business. But I refuse and have refused for the last five years since I started this to play the game of let's create some kind of buzz or hype or something that's going to make people think that this is a must-have program, right? I have a 90-day transformation program called the Fit Dad Blueprint. Is it a good program? Yes. Does it work? Yes. Have I seen results on it myself and with clients? Yes. Is it pretty simple and basic? Yes. Is it the best program out there? No. There isn't a best program. Um, it's as good as anything else. You know, I could probably sell way more of them, and it's 97 bucks, um, if I put a really catchy headline, which, you know, is a marketing hack of course it's all about the headlines to, to get people's interest um yeah i could sell a lot more by promising insane results in a very short amount of time with little to no work which is what a lot of these programs and courses do but it's not right in my opinion um and i've actually gotten a lot of shit about saying hey, this isn't right and i believe that it's not right i think it's wrong that that people are exploiting the ignorant which means you don't know what you don't know and making money off of it you know, I just tell it like it is, you know, you, you just basically have to get back to basics, cut out the bullshit, get to work and that's it. And so, you know, my audience, most of you listening to this are dads. Most of you are in your, let's call them thirties and forties, maybe fifties even. Uh, and, um, you probably spent many, many years doing the wrong things for your body, right? Not eating a great diet, not moving enough, not exercising consistently, sitting a lot, kind of being sedentary. And so I want you to take away from this, well, really every show I do, every piece of content I put out, but this specifically, I want you to hear what I'm about to say. It's focus on just a few basic things and forget everything else. You know, I mean, I know it, it's, it's super simple and you know, if it were that easy, everybody would be doing it. But here's the thing, people are fucking lazy and they don't want to work for it. They want to pay for it. They'll hire a trainer. I've been paid thousands of dollars for coaching and by a person that ultimately didn't want to do shit. They just thought that, if hey, if, I, if they pay me a bunch of money, I'll set up this great program and this perfect diet program, and, and, and they'll have insane results quickly, and it doesn't work like that. And so, you know, expectations are a big thing. But if you take nothing away from this episode except what I'm saying is forget all that. You're going to focus on a few things. One, strength training. You have to strength train. Absolutely. That has to be part of your program. Walking, running, biking, doing a little cardio. That is not enough, especially as we get up into our 30s and 40s and beyond. Right. We're starting to lose. We're going to bleed out muscle mass. 
and, and so we see our, our body composition start to creep up and from the 20s into the 30s and then we're at risk for a whole bunch of problems because our body fat is too high. Um, so muscle mass, we have to not only maintain but increase lean muscle mass as we get older. Our testosterone starts to drop we, naturally. You know, sprinting is probably one of the best ways to start bringing that up naturally as well as progressive, consistent you know, push yourself, but not kill yourself strength training. So that has to be part of your program. Three days a week, full body strength training is plenty for most guys. If you're a little more advanced, you've been training for a long time, you're already pretty fit. Yeah, you can do a bunch of splits. There are bro splits. There's all kinds of shit you can do. Does it really matter? No. As long as you're pushing yourself, you're focusing on the basics, <clears throat> compound. We're not, I'm not talking about going to the, the Smith machine or the abductor and adductor machine or anything like that. I'm talking about grab some kettlebells of some free weights and uh, make it heavy, right? You got to push yourself. You know, if you get to 10 reps and you have 10 more, that's not heavy enough. So focus on things like squats and deadlifts, heavy carries, sled drags and pushes, right? presses, heavy presses, pull-ups are probably one of the best exercises you can do for your upper body, period, okay? Basics. If you took eight exercises like that, and variations of them, you would have a fine program for the next three years. So that's number one, strength training. Number two, you have to do some kind of conditioning work. You can call it cardio, you can call it HIT, circuit training, interval training, blah, 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 whatever. It's all the same, similar. Uh, the idea behind it is you have to push yourself way out of your comfort zone. You have to get your heart rate up high, right? So your, your max heart rate is uh, 220 minus your age. That's, you probably don't want to get to your max, but you want to get pretty close. So a couple days a week, push yourself out of your comfort zone when it comes to like stamina training, endurance training, right? Hill sprints, probably one of the best way, ways to do that. <coughs> Flat sprints are pretty tough on the knees. They're very taxing. And if you're, if you're deconditioned at all, it's a great way to get hurt. Um, and on top of that, you probably can't do it for more than five seconds. So go to a hill. It doesn't have to be super steep. But run up the hill. You're not going to be going very fast, but that's okay. Your heart rate is going to skyrocket. Do that for 15, 12 to 15 minutes up and down. You know, run up, walk down, run up, walk down. Do the best you can. Okay, a couple days a week. That's going to start um, helping you burn more calories at rest. So basically, what that means is it's going to increase your metabolism. That kind of training will increase your metabolism. That coupled with strength training is what you want to do. Number two, or let's call it number three, you're eating. Just eat like a normal person that cares about their body there you don't need a diet book you don't need recipes you don't need anything you know how not to eat like an asshole it's not that hard get rid of all the processed shit in your house all of it stop drinking soda energy drinks and i'm i'm guilty uh i love monster zeros uh but still there's nothing in it as far as calories and sugar but it's still got a whole bunch of ingredients and i know it's not good for me but that's besides the point Get rid of all of the stuff you know, the pretzels, the chips. Stop going to Panera, right? Fill your refrigerator with fruits and vegetables, meats and eggs, right? Cheese is okay. Nuts, plenty of oils on hand, avocado, coconut oil, great. Almond milk, coconut milk. Focus on those basics, right? Get rid of the loaf of bread. Stop eating all the pasta, which has nothing good in it for you. It's just empty calories, right? You know how to eat well. Just do it. Is it easy? Of course not. That's why the diet industry is multi-billions of dollars because it's not easy just to say, no, I'm not going to eat that because we're hooked on the sugars and the, the refined um, uh, carbohydrates, all that garbage. It's, yeah, it's addictive. When we're used to eating, we've been eating it our whole life. And so it's not as easy as, eh, I'm going to be done with it. So you have to start somewhere, start small. Then let's look at your sleep. If you're not sleeping seven to eight hours a night you're doing yourself a serious disservice you're sabotaging your results inadvertently whether you know it or not you're just gonna have a harder time gaining muscle and losing fat um and staying healthy if you're not getting enough sleep you just can't, you can't fake it on that one i've got a, a an episode uh, on this as well um get outside get some natural sunlight right drink a gallon of water a day it doesn't have to be that much but it's not gonna hurt yeah, you replace all that other junk that you're drinking, empty, crappy calories, sweet tea and the stuff like that. Just drink a lot of water, right? Move more. So just be more active, right? Again, not particularly sexy. 
it's really pretty boring. But just just get off your ass. Move more. Take the stairs. Walk. You know, I park at the first space I find usually wherever I go. And typically it's pretty far away. You know, my family moans and groans, but too bad, right? Let's just take a few extra steps. Um, And then do some dedicated mobility work. That's a big thing we do in the inner circle now. We do a new mobility workout every week. We do mobility challenges because... When we get up into 3040s, we're stiff, we're tight, hamstrings are messed up, we're very tight, our lower backs are weak, cores are very weak. And so dedicated mobility work, whether it's five to 10 minutes, that's it, a day, it's going to go a long way. Okay. And so, you know, these are, I mean, these are the basics. Okay, what I just said is there's nothing earth shattering about what I just said. But 60 some odd percent of this country is fat, right? So it's not work. What we're doing is not working. So this is a very long way of saying, please forget about all the bullshit you see on YouTube, all the ads that are popping up in your Facebook feed because you've been searching Amazon for uh, fat wraps or whatever you're searching for. And now they're retargeting you and you're seeing them every two seconds, right? Please forget all that. Forget about creatine for now. Forget about all the post-workouts and the protein powders and BCA, all that stuff you don't need. Dial in all your basics first, which I just listed out. Stop searching for a quick fix. Stop going to the store looking for something that's going to help you make those gains. It's just not there. Okay, you're going to waste your money. You're going to waste your time. If you can just focus on the basics, and you can do it for six months, Let's call it just six months straight of the things I just said. I guarantee you will look better, feel better, be happier, be more confident. Your your wife will find you more attractive. You'll make better decisions. You'll have a better relationship with your, your friends and family and your kids. All of those things will change. They will get better when you start to turn your health around and you start feeling amazing because really most of us have no idea how we're supposed to feel, right? Most of us feel blah, right? We don't have a lot of energy. You know, we, we wake up, we're tired, right? We just, we use caffeine and sugar to get us over the morning hump, then the afternoon hump, and then uh, in the evening. And it's it's just not working. So forget all that, okay? Just focus on those basics like I told you. Stop searching for answers and just get to work. Thanks for listening. Thanks for joining us. And remember, If you want more information, check out the Fit Dad Basecamp group on Facebook. And don't forget to stop by fitdadnation.com. Until next time, keep kicking ass and taking the next step. You can do this, Dad.